I'm here with Leslie Driscoll at the Rosenberg Seventh-day Adventist Church. And Leslie, you had a grandma who was a Seventh-day Adventist that told you the truth, but it didn't always go well. What? Tell us just a little bit about that. Well, we would go to church with grandma, myself and my sisters and my cousins. We would fight over whose turn it was to go <laughs> spend the night and go to church. But I, I wanted to know more. And so as I got older, different pastors would come and study with me, different Seventh-day Adventist pastors. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew the truth. I knew what I was supposed to do. I knew, I knew, but I um, didn't just drift away. I fell off the, the cliff <laughs> and I wow. was into, I was bartending, I was drinking, I was into drugs. Um, promiscuity of uh, everything that you can think of bad I did mm. and one day the Lord just grabbed me by the shoulders and shook me till my teeth were rattled and <laughs> I came back mm. was it did your world just crash or you just sensed an overwhelming hunger for God when you say he grabbed you and shook you till your teeth rattled well the Holy Spirit had been tapping me on the shoulder because mm. I was working on Sabbath and, mm. and the Holy Spirit was saying he shouldn't be here, he shouldn't be here. And I realized that I needed to, you know, it was like God was giving me a wake up call. Mm. And when that happened, what was your next step back? Come back to church. Okay, was it the same church you'd been coming to a long time or a different congregation? I came to this, this church years mm -hmm. and years ago. Mm-hmm. And then I moved away and I went to the Seventh-day Adventist Church in San Marcos and mm -hmm. then I, when I moved back here and I had my teeth rattled, <laughs> <laughs> I came back to this church Amen. because the El Campo Church is no longer there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I came to this church because this is the, the one I knew. Well, we are so glad that when God shook you and your teeth rattled that you came back to him and his church and didn't run from him any longer. Thanks for sharing that testimony. Sure.